Welcome to my channel. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Mike Wolf and Frank Fritz searched the United States for buried treasure for 24 seasons. After the tensions between Fritz and Wolf intensified, American pickers appeared to die out, despite the show's large following. It was Wolf's determination to keep the show going even after Fritz left. American pickers may be coming to a close, though, because Wolfel just unveiled a new business venture that has cost him an astounding $600,000. Mike Wolf's desire to pursue other opportunities and leave American pickers is understandable given the show's longevity since 2010. There have been whispers about his retirement ever since Fritz departed, but he has yet to confirm the reports. I have no idea how much longer the show will run said an insider close to him. I have no idea how much time Mike and Robbie are willing to spend on this. At some time, I believe they would wish to retire. After 12 long years, the insider revealed that Mike Wolf enjoys meeting new people and discovering hidden gems, but that he is unable to exercise control over other parts of his life due to the long hours spent traveling for filming. This has been going on for quite some time. Oh, we're back on the road. That's how it always seems when they're around. There is no way I can fit this and that into my schedule. As with any employment, they said, it's a love-hate relationship. There will be days when you'd rather not have that work and be free to do anything you desire. There are days when you look forward to coming to work. Among Mike Wolf's many active businesses right now is antique archaeology, which serves two purposes. Also, he used to teach a cycling safety course out of his village bike in Iowa. Not only that, but Wolf also has a side business in real estate. Now that he's dropped hints about leaving American Pickers, Mike Wolf has come clean about his plans to turn a little piece of property into a pizza joint. A source provided a sneak peek of the potential final design of the property. Even though building is ongoing, it will serve as a dining establishment. Things like pizza and coke will be for sale. The front of the building is being transformed by construction workers into a pergola, fire pit, and karaoke stage. Mike Wolf documented the crew hard at work, renovating the area in an Instagram photo. The Esso Station Courtyard Project from the 1940s is approaching its planting time, he added. A one-of-a-kind, personal encounter awaits you at this property at the very center of the historic district of Columbia, Tennessee, as tweeted by...